just over one year ago uh, we were uh, making the first flight, the SU-50. This afternoon uh, we took off with the MSN-5 on the second route proving and there were all four other S350 around us showing the, how fast the progress has been over one year. Today uh, I wanted to feel uh, what it looks like when you are a passenger of the S350. And of course uh, I need to sell it to our customers and I will meet some of them. Uh, so we, there are several crews involved in this trip too, but we as, a, as a four, the four pilots here we get uh, about one day off in uh, Hong Kong, then we take the aircraft to Singapore. We get a day off in Singapore, bring it back to Hong Kong, one day off and then back to Toulouse. So it's, it's very typical of an airline uh, roster that, the, that I used to do in, uh, when, when I was in my airline companies. During this route proving, we're going to do many trips back and forth between Hong Kong and Singapore. One of the uh, results and goal we'll get out of this is to go out of hot and humid environments, go into cruise, cold soak the aircraft, land back in a humid environment, do the quickest turnaround and come back, go into cruise, cold soak and then land back down. So we're going to do that eight times. Uh, we're going to accumulate humidity inside the aircraft, inside the engines, inside the fuel tanks. This is to test the robustness of the aircraft to this uh, prolonged cycle of the hot and humid. The, the whole point is that we're, we're demonstrating to the authorities, uh, be it the FAA or EASA, that the aircraft is fully functional and reliable and therefore is uh, uh, um, airworthy to go into service with uh, scheduled airlines such as Cathay Pacific. I think it's important for our customers to be able to follow up on the programme, see how that's developing. It's nice to be on track, I think it's, you know, it's, it's something which is fairly new in this industry, um, but equally our customers need to, to, to see that and need the reassurance that they've made the right choice and have the right product, and I think that's demonstrated here today. I want to get on board on the A350, my first time ever. Uh, I have been to Toulouse before. Uh, I visited the final assembly line. I want to fly on this airplane. Um, it's a very latest technology aircraft. For the engineering, we are getting prepared to maintain this aircraft. Today, I want to see, get, get a general feeling on, on how Airbus operates this aircraft to help Cafe Pacific to prepare the enter into service. I think it's, uh, it's been a terrific day and uh, we really appreciate the effort that uh, Airbus has put in to uh, en enable us, most of us here in Cathay to look at the operational aspects of the aircraft as we'll be assessing it going into service in the very near future. Um, first observations, I think uh, both the cockpit and cabin crew will see uh, some huge improvements and uh, the next generation of aircraft to support our operation. The Airbus pilots, uh, I think it's uh, it's just an evolutionary step for them. I think the important thing is just uh, how much of an Airbus it is. It's uh, just a step up from where we've been, but an Airbus pilot should be able to sit, slip straight into this aircraft very simply. And uh, Cathay Pacific is unique and we will be uh, operating the 350 and the 330 as a common fleet. The aircraft behaved as expected even beyond the expectations. We were able to uh, respect the time constraints, the schedules, the flight schedules as planned a long time ago, very similar to the operational use of the aircraft. We had uh, no big anomalies, very, very, very minor anomalies, absolutely compatible with a successful and reliable operation for the, for the entry to service. Now there will be a very short uh, turnaround in Toulouse, about one, uh, one day in order to prepare the aircraft for the third trip that is going to take place uh, starting from Sunday. 
and in Australia and afterwards uh, going to the South America.